afraid that Starek's poison has found its way onto the open market. If he believes that will stop us, he is mistaken. I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had a most wonderful chat. I found that the man behind Starek's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. She was fired! The bugger. We'll get in trouble for this. Where would I find the doctor? Oh. <laughs> 
As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Litson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. the doctors here, especially that Elliotson fellow. So few patients died this week. What's the matter? Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key, and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole your key? Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, quite. Thank you, sir. Well, you'll know where to find me, sir. Oh, go on now, sir. I will wait here.
to nurse Nightingale. She will know what to do. Nurse Nightingale. You have my gratitude, sir. I shall inform Miss Nightingale that I'll not be working for this asylum ever again. <laughs> 